Hey. hey everybody, check it out, it's more Mass Yolanda. Effect. Yolanda. Everyone's favorite. Fish face bitch. Uh, let's just keep going with pistols. Right, I mean, they're the best weapons, right? For me. <coughs> Got some uh, of the cheesy grooves stuck in my throat. Work on uh, finishing off Infiltrator as well. Good. Yeah. You better be able to infiltrate. Give me some general uh, buffs. Since pretty much every enemy in the game can smack you around whenever they feel like. Yeah. So, rifles. No tack armor. Or not tack armor. Yeah. That is absolutely uh, tack armor. Let's do assault training, I guess. Oh, he's getting trained. Uh, Running a train on Garrus. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so... Two days ago was April Fool's Day, right? Uh -huh. At the time of this recording. And, uh... So the Rooster Teeth anniversary. Yeah. They uh, put a... Boosh. Um, Garrus body pillow in the <laughs> store for April Fool's. Oh, man. I know, I would have bought six. I would have bought 69. Um... A lot of... The April Fool's stuff this year, like, wasn't terrible. Like, uh, I kind of hate it when game companies are, like, they announce some new game on April Fool's or whatever, because it's oh, always yeah. something that, like, then you're sad that it's not real. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Or, like, something that, like, could ambiguously maybe happen, but then it, they, it doesn't because it's April Fool's. And I hate that because it's just, like, disappointing, you know? Right. I feel like no one really did that this year. I feel like everything that I saw anyway was just like, kind of, it was so over the top that you knew it was a joke. Right, nothing like Sonic and Tails are secretly in uh, <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah, there was no like, uh, Half-Life 3 oh, or something, you know, like, nothing that was actually like disappointing about People would have burned down Val. Oh, yeah. The only thing I even really remember is, uh... The... Uh... Yes. Oh... Destiny. Uh... They announced, uh... Fake, like, special edition of it or whatever. But it was, like, it was really over the top. It was called the Get Your Ass to Mars edition. Oh. And it was, like, it's, like, this super special $7 million <laughs> copy of Destiny uh, will, like, literally send you to Mars in a cryo tube That's and stuff. That's amazing. Like, yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, Remember, uh, like last year when they announced Blood Dragon, yeah, that was on awesome. April Fool's Day, and then it was fucking real. Yeah, it's like game companies, uh, anyone really that produces content, um, like that's the way to go. Either make it so over the top that it's obviously a joke and you don't get anyone's hopes up, or make it like super over the top and silly and then also real. Yeah, <laughs> one of those two things. Like that's the best way to handle April Fools. Uh, I, I thought, thought I thought Blood Dragon was better than like actual Far Cry Three. Personally. I still uh, haven't played it. I want to, dude. We should do that on the show. Oh yeah, I've got it. You yeah, know, you can play it. That'd be awesome. I would love to do that. Yeah, it's uh pretty easy, especially compared to like actual Far Cry Three, which I still need to finish. I like that game. Hex Shield. Yeah, it's pretty good, but I just sort of ended up giving up on it. Did you see, uh, that, well, I'm, I'm sure you did, uh, Game Grumps, April Fools? Oh, absolutely. That was pretty funny, too. Cat Grumps? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that was hilarious. Yeah. I um, watched every second of that. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that was funny, and Mimi and Moshi are adorable. Yeah. And, uh, Mojo and Orf. Yeah. Um, yeah, Orf and Mo, definitely my favorite. Dude, Orf is awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that was, uh, that was a pretty funny April Fool's. What I really liked was, uh, 
they had like the the top comment or whatever on all their videos like Game Grumps themselves had commented on them you know uh-huh. and it was always like aren't you like super excited that this is our thing now <laughs> like <laughs> Uh, I bet you can't wait for uh, the next, like, two years of this and stuff like that. It was funny. Yeah, that was, uh, that was good for a day. Definitely wouldn't... <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't be into that being, like, an actual series, though. The, uh, Mimi's laser, like, yeah. 30 seconds in when it does the <laughs> Barry's edits, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was a really funny idea for, like, a one-off April Fool's thing. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, like, at the beginning of, like, Orphan Mo, when, uh, Orph is playing outside, and then it does the, like, dramatic camera zoom in to Mo inside, like, looking outside. <laughs> yeah. It zooms in and out a bunch of times. Did you... Really good camera work for cats. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. But yeah, it was funny. What did we do for April Fool's? What day was it? Like, Tuesday? So uh, I guess we fought Sundowner so. for April Fool's Day. <laughs> so we can come up with a plan. April Fool's. Yeah. Sundowner, he wasn't uh, What's the situation? really dead that time. We thought he was dead, and then he was. The real joke is that uh, I had to take a month off of the game before I could fight Jetstream Sam. Yeah, which is you... happening later today. I can't wait. Yeah, I wonder how good you'll do. <laughs> we are the um, so hey, it's Kirihi. Oh, man. I'm gonna be like all Paragon at Kirihi because he's awesome. That forced perspective on the Solarian walking in the background was pretty terrible. <laughs> um, made him look like a super midget. This is his <laughs> so basically. Uh, Saren has, like, a facility on Vermeer where he's breeding Krogan. Everybody's right. like, how can he breed Krogan? There's that whole Genovage thing that makes them functionally infertile. Yeah. And, uh, Kirihi's like, yeah, I don't know, but we're here to stop him because, uh, Saren's bad, Krogan's bad, you know, it's all bad. And Rex is oh, like... Oh, shit, we are not a mistake. Yeah, Rex is all kinds of, like... Krogans aren't bad. They're bad. <laughs> they're pretty. They're pretty much like the villains of space. Yeah, like ninety percent of the Krogans we meet are bad. Come back soon. I blame um, Solarians. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the the Jeff Age didn't like make them better by any means. Oh, I just mean for like uplifting <clears throat> them. Oh yeah. Giving oh, them yeah, like yeah, spaceship yeah. and guns before they were ready. Yeah. Yeah, they would be, like, a lot better if it weren't for the, uh, Salarians and Turians, like, right. uh, interfering with them. Yeah. Yeah, basically, I guess we haven't really, like, gone that much into it, uh, and we've been kind of skimming over a lot of the dialogue. But basically, um, for anyone who's not familiar with the Mass Effect lore, uh, Rex, the guy we're talking to, is a Krogan. The Lizard Man. And, um... He's got a cool face and red eyes and shit. Yeah. It's badass. They lived on this, like, super dangerous world called Tuchanka, where, like, everything is deadly and stuff. And, um... A long time ago, there was this race Basically of... Basically, like, Tatooine. The worst. Yeah. Um... A long time ago, there was, like, this race of evil insect people called, um... Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, what are they called, the insect people? Uh, Rachni? Yeah, Rachni. Uh, there were these evil insect people called Rachni, and, uh, they were, like, rampaging across the galaxy, killing everything, and... They were space roaches with guns. Yeah. And so, like, uh, the Turians, which is... I'm sure we've gone over it before, but that's what Garrus is... Um, the cool blue alien dude that I always bring with me. Right, he's got all kinds of plates on his face. Yeah, that's what Garrus is. So the Salarian, or I mean the Turians and the Salarians, which is this guy, Kirihi. Um, Different kind of lizard man. Yeah, uh, they like found the Krogan and were like, these Krogan dudes are like really strong and tough and cool. I bet they could just like 
beat the hell out of some Rachni. So, uh, we're gonna give them guns and space travel. Like, way ahead of when they're supposed to develop it naturally. So that they can help us kill all these, uh, roaches. And, uh, so they did. And the Krogan kinda went nuts, because they were still, like, kind of a primitive species. Yeah. And they did, indeed, kill all of the Rachni, basically. <laughs> um... And, uh, then they were, like, because the, like, infant death rate on their planet is so high because it's so dangerous, they had, like, big, you know, uh, Why is it that whenever someone says litters, I guess you would say, of children, no heroics. um, I will have the ordinance and they would have, like, five or six kids at a time or whatever, uh, because, you know, like, a lot of them would die. Let's go. Um, so they needed to have that many to sustain a population. Uh, but then, like, suddenly they have, like, these spaceships and guns and, like, all this futuristic stuff and they can, like, leave Tachanka. So they had, like, a population explosion because their kids weren't dying anymore because they weren't on this horrible death planet. Um, situation. Keep your eyes open. so, you bet, Commander. uh... Everyone was like, man, these Krogan are, like, really violent and powerful. Oh, it's the hold the line speech. This is no. the best. Uh, so the Tyrians and Slayerians were like, we can't have all these, like, super deadly Krogan running around everywhere. They've got this big population boom. They're gonna wipe us out. Uh, so the Salarians made a genophage thing, uh, this disease that would, like, make... Uh, like, 9 out of 10 Krogan births fail. So now the Krogan are slowly dying out because they can't, like, breed fast enough. And, uh, yeah, the Salarians made it and the Turians, like, delivered it. Um, so that's why, like, it's a big deal that Saren is breeding Krogan because, like, no one knows how to cure the Genophage, basically. And it's kind of a sore subject for, uh, Krogan, obviously. Um... And yeah, I just talked over this awesome speech, so I apologize. It's one of the best scenes in the first game. It's got subtitles. Yeah. It's it's really cool. Here he's like... He's a, a captain in the Salarian Special Tasks group, which is kind of like their special forces or whatever, like their black ops. Um, and, uh... Oops. So, yeah. Uh... He's basically saying, like, throughout the history of the galaxy, uh... I probably would look cooler if you had better shoes. Yeah. They're um, like slippers. Yeah. Well, I gotta be comfortable. Uh, he's basically it's saying, like, part of combat. throughout the history of the galaxy, like, the Salarian Special Task Group is always who is called upon to do, like, the really important shit. Uh, and... Like, we've never let the galaxy down before, we're not going to today. It's a really cool speech. Uh, and he's like, sure no one will, like, remember us, but it doesn't matter because what we're doing is important. Because they're, like I said, they're like the special forces or, like, black ops kind of people, so... They're, Space ninjas. Yeah. They're not, like, remembered or whatever. All their stuff is, like, secret. Uh, but they're <laughs> super cool. Damn. Seems fucking hit the wall. Yeah. It's awesome. And there's a thing going on here. I don't remember like all the parts of it, but basically here he can die. But there's a lot of cuz he's like leading the charge into the base. But there's a lot of stuff that you can do on your way to the base that'll help him out and like increase his chances of living. So like I just disrupted enemy communications and there's like a couple of other things. Like let me look at my map here. Oh map it out, baby. Yeah, there's I guess they're not really showing up, but there's a couple of other things we can do to make sure to the best of our ability at least, that Kiri he survives. Oh, also, uh, I sent Ashley to go with Kiri. So, she'll be talking every once in a while over the radio. Yeah. Um, Vermeer is a big deal. Um, 
for anyone who like, hasn't played the games, um, like the first, you know, couple missions are fun or whatever, uh, like interesting world building stuff. But this is where it like gets serious, basically, the and nitty gritty. Yeah, this is where Saren becomes like the actual villain and not just that guy that we're trying to find evidence against or whatever. Like. <clears throat> This is where he really actually, like, makes his presence known as a bad guy instead of just seeing cutscenes of him, like, being a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. You hear about it offhandedly. Krogan! <laughs> that was... one of the weirdest, like, walk cycles I'd ever seen. Yeah. Also, uh, being that this place is, you know, a Krogan breeding facility. A lot of Krogan warriors here. Nah. Um... Oh, nice. Yeah. And, uh, naturally, they're all, there's lots of geth, too, since Saren has got those on his side. I don't remember if that thing blows up, or if I... I think I just have to take out the uplink and everything's fine. Oh, I poisoned myself. Oh, well. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's gone already, even. In space, no one can hear you poison. That is a fact. Uh, I believe, uh, Sigourney Weaver proved that. Tyler is, uh, that is gonna go check out some stuff. We appear to be being called away a bit, but, uh, I will fill in the gaps by, uh, talking. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to find things to talk about for a couple minutes and vamp a bit. Uh, we have about 15 minutes left. I mean... Sure, he won't be gone that long. In fact, I think he's coming back now. Uh, oh man, my inventory is almost full. That's not good. I'm gonna have to convert some stuff to Omnigel. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm back. She said she wanted to show you some stuff or something. Okay. It's cool if we finish, right? Because we're like I halfway through. Don't know. Oh. Hmm. I'm okay. gonna assume that it is. I don't know. If, I think she said she was just gonna put it away. Oh, okay. Well, I'll. Microphone problems. Bit of a hiccup. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Destroyed all the flyers. I think. I'm stuck on a wall. Are you really? Yep. Now what do we do? I don't know. Uh. Um. <sighs> this is not good. Reload. Yeah. Let's see what our most recent checkpoint was. Auto save. Remind. Base approach. Definitely not the refugee camp. Uh, let me, like, save, and then we can compare save time to load time. Yeah. And see. That didn't magically fix me, did it? Nope. Wait. I jerked. Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, if I would... Oh, yeah, it's only been, like, a couple minutes. Well, I guess we have to redo some of this, because, uh, Mass Effect is a super well-made game. Yeah. Everyone should play it. Cool. Or just download Genesis and play too. Yeah, that's a thing that you can should do. <laughs> you absolutely can should do that, unless you're like me, and uh, you're a crazy person. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to like. Whoa! Yeah, just uh, watch out for rockets. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea generally. Nah, you know what? Ignore. So, it's been about a month since we recorded, and uh, a couple of weeks since we just, like, hung out, so... Yeah. What have you been up to in the interim? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, well, I've been listening to the Internet Box podcast. Oh, yeah? Uh, which I found out, like, after I started, that just, like, a few days after I started uh, listening to it, there was uh, the final episode. Yeah, beginning of March, right? Yeah. It's crazy. 
Let me see. Which, I'm gonna uh, check my journal to see like how much of. I don't know. I don't know why they uh, decided to stop. It's uh, sad for me. Because I was really enjoying it. Yeah, it's funny. I've listened to the first couple. Uh, first, like, 15 or so? Yeah. A little more than that, actually, I think. You've gotten to uh, the Eat Bones episode. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, so. Okay, I think I've already been here. That's, uh... <laughs> That's pro probably one of the best episodes. Yeah, that was really funny. Okay, yeah, I have been here. I wanted to make sure because I wasn't sure how far back it put me. Right. Reloading. Uh, or just loading, I guess. I only did it once. Um, speaking of loading, well, not really, what? but, sorry, I was going to try to segue, but my segue didn't make sense. I Never mind. I don't even know what's happening. Never here. mind. It was dumb. So, um... Yeah, doing anything else other than that? Uh, I also got Fable Anniversary. Oh, yeah. Dude, we gotta play that on the show. Yeah, we do. I wanna play it. And I uh, 100% of that. Got all the achievements. Nice. It's uh, pretty cool. Uh, Lost Chapters is really good. I'm very excited to play those, finally. Yeah. I had uh, Lost Chapters like on the computer. Right, I remember that. My computer was like a piece of shit, so I just like ended up not playing it. Yeah, I remember that. Great Which... game, the first Fable. Yeah, it's so good. Like, I was playing through it, like... I, it, I felt like if I was playing it when it first came out, I was like, man... I can't wait for them to follow up on the stuff, and then I remember that there's already two sequels that suck. Yeah, we are... Neither of us are fans of Fables 2 or 3, particularly. No, it's... They're bad. 2 isn't, like, terrible. It's just not as good as 1. Right. Like, disappointingly so. I mean, not just like, ah, uh, well, this is still pretty good. Not quite as good as 1, but good. It's like, it's a noticeable and very disappointing dip in quality. Yeah. In our professional opinions, and we are professionals. At least comparatively, it's bad. I, yeah, I totally agree. Um, it it's... did give you a dog. Yeah, and they shoot it. Yeah, but you can get it back, it's fine. Yeah, with one of the um... three endings, or DLC. Yep. By the way, dude, come on, spoilers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I totally love that dog that they give you and then nothing bad happens to it ever. What are you talking about? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I missed. Met Metagel. Uh, Metagel's for coward. I have a bunch. I'll use it, I guess. Yeah. I always forget about it. It's uh, better than going back to checkpoints or whatever, right? Yeah. Alright, destroyed, destroyed all the flyers. I think I can blow up this, yeah, if you think. I don't think it Definitely. does anything except help kill flyers, but... I can blow up that fuel tank. Ah, how yeah. Did, how did the explosion from the first one not, like, blow up? <laughs> it was, like, three feet away. It looks cool, at least. To blow them up. Even if it doesn't, like, do anything. Yeah. Okay, I think I there's... Mean, a... if there's one thing we've learned from Michael Bay, it's that explosions will make you a million dollars. Yeah. I think there's a couple of different ways I can go in, but if I go in the, like, uh, secret way, I think it's worse for Kirihi, because then, like, everyone is focused on him. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, if I remember right. Although, maybe if I go in the secret way, I can, like, turn off alarms? Oh, no, that's why it makes it worse for him. Because he, like, yeah... Because if I go in, like, the regular way, then alarms go off and people, like, have to divide their forces between oh. me and him. But if I don't, yeah, then everybody just knows about Kirihi, so he has to deal with, like, a lot more people. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have to convert to Metagel soon. I'll do it after this episode. Okay. Um, because I'll want to, you know, upgrade my equipment and stuff before I do that. Absolutely. Unless this has, like, a billion items in it. Uh. But, yeah. Hey. Overlight. Successful. Alright. 
got 69 XP, and then 1,113. Yeah. Pretty groovy. Basically the best at this ge God. game. Damn it. Sorry. It's so gross. Access-based security. Yeah, hack that, Garrus. Packed up a hairball. He's a maniac. Maniac. On the floor? Yeah. And he's hacking like he's never hacked before. No, that's what uh, he's doing alright. Oh, okay, yeah. He's saying, like... He's saying he can, uh, like... That's what it is. It's not that you disable the alarms, because I think you do that regardless. It's like, you can make the alarms at Kirahi's, like, side of it go off. Oh. Or something like that, to, like, draw people off of you. Why would you do that? I don't know. I told him not to. That's good. Whoa! Nice. That was super cool. Special FX. This game, I mean, it's not as good as the other ones, but I'm still having a pretty good time, I gotta say. Well, that's good. I'm glad that one of us would have a good time playing this game. Do you think we'll finish uh, Metal Gear today? Maybe. I hope so. I want to see how it ends. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, but... there's a pretty decent chance. It depends on how fast you're able to beat Jetstream Sam and the oh, last boss. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, as long as you don't mind using up like all of your healing items between like two fights, then you should be fine. Oh yeah, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, sorry, Intel. Dude, that's the best kind of Intel. Yeah. Uh, when I took Metal Gear... Metal Gear! Uh, ...to like, play the DLC and stuff, uh, I ran through the game again and uh, managed to beat Jetstream Sam without using any healing items. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had like... 1.7% health left. <laughs> I mean, granted, I was using the, uh... Spirit like, of Grey Fox? Yeah. You have to say Spirit of Gay Fox? A little bit. Slip of the tongue. hey -o. <laughs> Was that um, a hard decryption? Mm, Said it was. Oh. Yeah, wow, I'm uh, gonna be full up on items after this. But yeah, uh, bosses are the one thing that the spirit of Grey Fox doesn't seem to be the most overpowered thing in the world against. Oh, yeah. It's still, like, at least as strong as, uh, the other sword that's the best one in the game. <laughs> yeah. Definitely worth the, like, three dollars. So, uh, yeah, basically, like... Oh, okay. Yeah, Saren has been indoctrinating a bunch of uh, Salarians to help him make the Genophage cure or whatever, so... Krogan slaves. Yeah, so I'm I'm killing the indoctrinated Salarians. I got up to that, like, cell, and the guy was like, You gotta let me out, please. So I did, but then all of them attacked. Yeah. You were just called indoctrinated. Yeah. Summon the elevator. elevator! Woo! Oh, wow. Shortest elevator right ever. Yeah, that was pretty short. <laughs> Husks! Just to activate the husk? Yeah. Could you just left it there? Uh, I don't remember. Hmm. Well, it seems like they're all coming after you now. Oh, I'm overheated. Sure are. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Crazy uh, Krogan doctor. Krogan's gonna be doctors? Yeah. We'll see an even... Yeah, whatever. Uh, better example of that in the second game. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Beast Wars. <laughs> yeah, for anyone who uh, didn't understand that, 
You should go watch Transformers Beast Wars if it's still on Netflix. <laughs> you should never watch Transformers Beast Wars. That's basically, uh... Decepticons... Or, I mean, not Decepticons, sorry. Megatron. Yeah, Megatron. Saurus. Uh, his, like, catchphrase. He ends, like, yeah. every sentence with, Yes! Yeah. He does. <laughs> Dude. And they're, like, all dinosaurs, except for, like, Scorpionok. Yeah. And one of them's called Dinobot. Yeah. Which is Starscream, clearly. Yeah. Doesn't he, like, literally turn out to be Starscream at the end of the series? I don't know. I think so. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody does. Oh. It um, has to be him, then. Yeah. Dude, I love Starscream. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Ramathanoptis. Shoot her. She told you not to. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna kinda cheat here. Are you? Yes. Um, cause, see, uh... Normally, like, I'm... I didn't have a choice. I'm, sorry. I'm all about, uh... Like, sparing people <laughs> and stuff. But, using my foreknowledge of the future games, I know for a fact that she never, like, becomes a good person as a result of this. Like, uh... Because when you see her right there, she's like, please, they made me do it. I, it's not my fault. Just let me go. <laughs> uh, so if you let her go, you meet her again in the second game at, like, Okir's lab, which is basically <laughs> the second game's equivalent of this. <laughs> and she's like, ah, I was forced into it again. Sorry. And if you let her go that time, then in the third game... Uh, she, like, suicide bombs a bunch of Alliance personnel. Great. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just gonna kill her right here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, it's about time. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. We're gonna start the next episode off strong. Do you remember this part? Nope. Oh, you will. Okay. See you guys next time. It's gonna be good.